as long as war keeps going forward and there is no peace, there's going to be more violence. Mali hotel attack, at least 21 dead. Assailants with guns blazing attacked a hotel hosting diplomats and others in Mali capital on Friday morning, leaving at least 21 dead. The assault began about 7 a.m. when two or three attackers with AK-47 rifles. Okay. Mali, AK-47 rifles. All this thing about a rattled Europe tilts toward bolder security. Everybody, even that Trump, all you Trump lovers, saying we have to lose our rights for more intelligence and security. Anyone that's a fighter knows that you don't need the internet or a cell phone to launch an attack. Matter of fact, over there in China, they just killed 50 people because of an attack that killed about 70 people with a guy's wielding knives. Yeah, I think Attila the Hunt, when he came over the mountains, man, he wanted a uh, weather report and, uh, and, and, and he needed his cell phone and all that internet equipment. Grow up. All the security in the world is not going to stop this. Only non-intervention is. Molly, pick up your Trends Journal. Here it is. Winter 2013. As we go to press, French President Hollande, that little rotten scum of a man, a little nothing of a boy, with support from President Obama, fresh on his taking out Gaddafi, has launched airstrikes in Mali and sent French ground troops to attack, quote, Al-Qaeda-linked Islamists. Initial reports claim that only a handful of rebels were killed, and the main victims were women, children, and the elderly. Great job, Halan, you mass murderer. The hospital is overflowing, both morgues and cities, are filled with bodies. A Malian official told, who did he tell? Who's reporting this propaganda? Oh, the New York Times. Yeah. Under the auspices of the United Nations, the U.S., France, U.K., and other NATO members are planning broader intervention in Mali. The Mali Civil War, which has already turned three 100,000 of its citizens to refugees is but one of the many conflicts in the region. In response, the rebels sent a loud message that could be heard around the world. Quote, Mali Islamists threatened to retaliate at the heart of France. Today, they threatened payback. End quote. That's according to the Christian Science Monitor. Yes, I write, payback. Just as we used to say in the Bronx, payback's a bitch. And as long as nations attack other nations and people kill other people, the eye for an eye payback cycle will continue. That's it. Everyone's calling for more surveillance. Little boy Bush is blowing his horn for more war, declare war. Hillary Clinton, all more war. Nobody's looking at the cause and effect. You kill a lot of people, a lot of people are going to want to kill you. I'm for peace and prosperity and beauty and joy. Occupy peace or occupy hell, because that's where they're leading us to. This is Gerald Salenti, and that's some of today's Trends in the News.